Hello friends, welcome to this new session. Today we'll see how you can run GitLab Runner as a container in Docker Desktop. In one of my previous videos, I have shown you how you can run GitLab in container in Docker Desktop. And you can see here, this is GitLab which is running in container and I'm logged into GitLab right now. So in the admin area on the runners, I'm trying to run a GitLab Runner, which will be again in another container under Docker Desktop. So that is what we will try to see how we can do that. So I will show you here under Docker Desktop. This is GitLab which is running and we will start GitLab Runner also now. So to start GitLab Runner, we will see these commands. So first we will create a volume in Docker to persist the state. We will run it in terminal. So Docker volume is created. You can check in Docker Desktop under volumes. It should show GitLab Runner config getting created. And now we will use the command to start the GitLab Runner. So this is a command Docker run. GitLab Runner is the name I've given, restart always and this is docker.socket being shared within the container and this is the volume which is mapped to etc GitLab Runner and this is the name of the runner with the latest image tag. So let's copy this and start the container. So container is started, let's check the state. So you see two containers are running now one for GitLab Runner and one is GitLab. The same process you can check in Docker Desktop under containers. You can see GitLab Runner is running and in logs you can see that there is nothing configured so it has not loaded anything. Also we will try to get the Docker IPs which these containers have got. So we will use this command to find out what is the container IPs. So we will pass the container ID. So this is the IP for GitLab Runner and with this container ID, this is the IP for GitLab. Uh, we will need this when we will register the GitLab runner, then we will need this IP of GitLab. So now we will start the process of registering this GitLab runner and this is the command which we have to run to register GitLab runner. Okay, it is asking for GitLab instance URL which is nothing but http colon slash slash the GitLab container IP colon ad. Now it's asking for registration token. To get this registration token, we need to log into GitLab and under runners on the right side here, register an instance runner, click on it. And this is your registration token we have to copy. So copy this, go back and paste here. Then enter asking for description for the runner. Just give some name and then tags. So you can actually tag your runner and in the pipelines you can run against a specific runner by using the tags so I will just give a tag name here again maintenance note is optional I will just leave it and it's asking what type of executor you want to use there are different executors available like docker or docker plus machine uh, we'll use shell here and that's it so your GitLab Runner is now registered. We can go back to GitLab Runner's page and refresh this page. It should show the GitLab Runner online now. So you see here, it's online and it's ready to be used. Now we'll try to run one of the pipelines using this GitLab Runner. I have a demo repository where I have created this GitLab minus CIML file, the build pipeline file. And you can see here, I am using tags to run my pipeline on this particular GitLab runner and it's just a simple pipeline which will echo this command and some other stuff. So let's run this. So you can see here the job is executed and you see it has used the demo runner which we just created and shell executor and finally the job succeeded. It have echoed this particular statement. So it's very easy to install GitLab runner in container and then you can do your test using that. I hope you like this session and we will see you in the next one. Thank you.